This is the sixth video of eight that I'm sharing here on YouTube for my full course, Vue.js 3, Composition API with Pinia and Veet. In this video, we're going to be learning all about how we do things differently with Vue Router in a Composition API app, including the new Use Route and Use Router composables. You can find a link to the whole playlist down in the description, and you can grab the full course with my discount at dannys.link slash Composition API. Let's see how we do things differently with Vue Router in the Composition API. Now you may remember the dollar $root object, which we could use to access things like the current root path or root parameters in the Options API. Well, we can still use this dollar $root object in our template when we're using the Composition API. And in order to demonstrate that, let's create a post detail page, which accepts a parameter of ID. And then we'll use the dollar $root object to display this ID on that post detail page. But before we do that, let's change this about page to a posts page, which later on we'll add a list of posts to. So we want to jump to our router file in source, router, and index.js. And by the way, I'm going to be showing you how to set up the view router from scratch later on in the course when we create our Noteballs app. But in this project, that's all been set up for us. But don't worry, I will be showing you how to set all this stuff up from scratch so you can understand what's going on here a little bit better if you're not already familiar with view router. But anyway, let's adjust this about page and make it a posts page. So I'm going to change the path to slash posts and I'll change the name to posts and I'll get rid of this bunch of comments and we'll import a component called posts view instead and I'll save that and this will break our app because it's looking for this component which doesn't exist so let's open up our explorer jump into views and we'll rename this about view dot view to posts view dot view and the app is now working again and now let's update our nav links at the top and these are in app.view, source, app.view. So we want to change this second router link to go to the path slash posts. And we want to change the text to posts as well. Save that. And we should now be able to get to our new posts page. So let's adjust this posts page a little bit. So source, views, and posts view, dot view. And we'll change this class on this root div to posts. And we'll change the text in this heading to posts as well and save that. And in a little bit, we're going to add a list of links to some posts. But first of all, let's set up a route for our post detail page. So we'll jump back to index.js in the router folder. And we're going to add a comma after this posts route and then duplicate that and we'll set the path to post detail and we want this route to accept a parameter named ID. So to do that, we can just add slash colon ID at the end. So this means if we go to slash post detail slash ID one, then the value of the ID parameter that we're passing to this route will be ID one. And then we'll change the name to post detail and we'll change the component to post detail view dot view and we'll save that. And again, this will break our app because this component doesn't exist. So let's duplicate this posts view component by right clicking it and using the duplicate file or directory command, which is coming from the duplicate action extension, which we installed earlier on in the course. So we'll duplicate this and we'll call it post detail dot view. And I'm going to remove everything inside the script tags and remove this text area. And I'll change this class to post dash detail and change the text in the heading to this is a post page. Save that, reload the page, and that's not working. And that's because I renamed this component incorrectly. It should be post detail view dot view. So let's rename that again and just add the word view at the end. Okay, let's add some links to this posts page so we can get to our post detail page and then use the dollar route object to access our route parameter. Let's add some links to our post detail page on this posts page. So I'm going to jump to views and posts view dot view. And after this H1, I'm going to add an unordered list. And then inside that, I'm going to add an LI tag. And then inside that, I'm going to add a router link. And to add a router link, we can use 
dash case like this, or we can use Pascal case, and I'm going to use Pascal case. And inside that, I'll put the text post one. And to set the path for this router link, we can just add a two attribute and set that to our path. And if we jump back to our router file, source router index.js, the path we specified here was slash post detail slash and then the ID. So I'm going to set this to attribute to slash post detail slash ID one. And then I'm going to duplicate this LI two times, change the two value in the second link to ID two at the end, and then post two. And then the third one, I'll change it to ID three and then post three. And let's save that. And we can see a link to those posts. Let's just add a little bit of margin at the bottom. So I'll add a style section, which is scoped which means that any styles we put in here will only apply to this particular component. So I'll just add some margin bottom to the UL margin bottom 30 pixels. Save that. Uh, let's see if these links are working. And yeah, we're on our post page, our post detail page. And um, we can see slash ID one in the address bar there. And if we go back and click on the second one, then we see slash ID two at the end. We can now use the dollar route object in our template to get access to this ID parameter that we're passing in. So let's open up the post detail page, post detail view dot view. And let's add a paragraph underneath this heading. And I'll just add the text display the content of post with ID of, and then we'll add double curly braces, dollar root dot params, and then the name of our parameter, which is ID dot ID here. So let's save that. And we can see display the content of post with an ID of ID two here. If we go back and click on the third post, then we see ID three. And let's just quickly add a back button here. I'll add another paragraph and a router link with the text back and just to add a little left arrow here i'm going to use a html entity and lt which stands for less than and then semicolon and then we'll set the two value on this router link to slash posts save that and that back button is now working so you can see that accessing the dollar route object in our template is exactly the same in the composition api as it is in the options api but how can we access our route information in our script section. Well, in the options API, we could just do this dot dollar root and access all of the same information. And we could use this inside methods, computed properties, or lifecycle hooks. But in the composition API, we don't have access to this. We don't have access to our view instance and all of the options because we don't have any options. So in the composition API, we need to use view three's use route composable instead. So we can't use this dot dollar root in the composition API. If I save that, we see an error and our app breaks. So let's remove that and do this the composition API way. Let's add a button to this page, which fires a method when we click it. So after this paragraph tag in between these two paragraphs, I'm going to add a div and inside that I'm going to add a button with the text show post ID. So when we click this, we want to show an alert which displays the post ID. So let's add a click handler to this. So at click show post ID and let's create this method. So I'll add this method as a const. So const show post ID equals a method. And for now, let's just log out show post ID to make sure this is working. Save that. Click on the button and we can see show post ID in the console. So now in this method, we want to show an alert which displays the post ID. And again, we can't do this dot dollar root. So we need to import views new use route composable. So we need to import that first. So import use route from view router. Note that we are importing this from view router and not from view. And to get access to this composable, we need to assign it to a variable or constant. And the view team recommends to use the name route. So we'll add a const called route, set that equal to use route parentheses. And we can now access this composable using this route constant. And by the way, I'll be getting into composables in more detail later on in the course, including how to create a custom composable and how to import composables from third party libraries, such as view use. But anyway, we can now use this route constant just like we would use this dot dollar route. 
So inside this method, let's show an alert. And I'll use backticks to output a template string here. And we'll just output the ID of this post is colon. Then I'll add dollar and curly braces so that we can output something here. And we want to display our ID root parameter. So instead of this dot dollar root dot params dot ID, we can now just do route dot params dot ID. Uh, let's save that and see if that's working. Click on the button. We see the alert. The ID of this post is ID three and that's working. And let's try it out on a different post, post two. Click on the button. The ID of this post is ID2. In the options API, we could handle the router programmatically by using this dollar router. So for example, if we wanted to send the user to the homepage, we could do this dollar router dot push and then the path slash and that would push them back to the home page. But again, in the composition API, we don't have access to this. So we need to use the use router composable from view router. So let's get rid of this line and we'll import use router from view router. And again, we need to assign this to a constant, which we typically call router. So I'll duplicate this constant here, change it to router and change this to use router parentheses. And now let's add another button to our page. So after this div with the first button, let's add another div and then another button with the text go home in three seconds. And let's add a click handler to this button. So at click equals go home in three seconds. And now let's create this method after this method. So const go home in three seconds equals an arrow function. And we'll add a set timeout. In VS Code, if you just type in set, you can choose this set timeout function, snip it, which will add that for us. I'm just gonna get rid of the semicolon and we'll set the timeout to 3000 milliseconds, three seconds. And so after this three second timeout, we want to send the user to the homepage. And so instead of doing this dot dollar router dot push, parentheses slash, we can now just do router dot push slash. Now let's save that, click on the button and wait three seconds. And we're now back on the home page. And if we want to push the user based on the route name instead of this explicit path, and by name, I mean the name that's specified here on each of our routes in index.js in the router folder, then we can do that as well. So we can just change this to router dot push and then an object and then name and then the name of the route that we want to go to which is home lowercase save that and see if that works click on the button wait three seconds and yeah that works as well or if we want to send the user to a particular post detail page with a particular id then we can do that as well so i'll jump back to the post detail page and i'll add another button i'll just duplicate this div and button and let's say we want to send the user to the first post, the post with an ID of ID one. I'll change the text inside this button to go to first post, change the method name to go to first post. And let's create that method. I'll just duplicate this one, change the name to go to first post, remove the code inside that method. So to send the user to the post detail page for the post with an ID of one, we can just do router.push and then an object, set the name to post detail. And then we can add a params object and set the ID to ID one. Save that. And we're currently on the post detail page of the post with an ID of three. So let's click this go to first post button. And we're now on the post detail page for the post with an ID of one. If you want to grab the full course with my discount, jump to dannys.link slash composition API and the link is in the description. Or there are two more videos to go in this YouTube series. Make sure you click subscribe and click the bell if you don't want to miss those. And you can find a link to the whole playlist down in the description.